Alright guys, welcome to big number 12 and in this lesson what we're going to be talking about is the in and not in statements. So say we were working on this awesome database and the police come storming in the door and they're like, Bucky, we just caught the murderer. And I'm like, what murderer? Who the heck murdered anyone? And he's like, don't worry about it. Anyways, they're in your database and we know that they either live in California, North Carolina, or New York. Can you give us a list of all those suspects? So you were like, heck yeah, select name and state from customers where, and we're like, hold on, we typed that wrong. <laughs> I'm going to have to type that again. Where state equals, and we're like, what's your list? Because we forgot. California or state equals North Carolina or state equals New York and we're just gonna go ahead and say okay just go ahead and let me run this query and bam there is your list and he's like yeah okay oh oh wait 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 hold on did you just say something sorry I fell asleep that query took way too long to type and check it out we only have three options here but if we were to have more states then look at this query it's gonna get very messy and you know with three options that's all it took but what if we wanted you know to include 10 or 15 states then things would get really complicated so I'm gonna show you guys a shortcut whenever you need to use a bunch of or statements you can just use the statement in and it's gonna make it a whole lot easier so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit select name and I think we select a state from customers where state now the very first thing you do is you give it the condition to search for I want to search for a bunch of different states so I want to search for state in now right after in go ahead and type parentheses and instead of making a whore did I just say whore I am sorry I apologize to all the slutty moms out there <laughs> shouldn't have said that that's why uh, you know people don't let my tutorials be watched in college or high school or anything because sometimes I just say inappropriate things like that but anyways after in we're gonna give it a huge list for example CA or what was my next one NC and I think it was New York if I'm correct or NY now that's basically all we do so as you can see instead of making three different or, or statements we just go ahead and say okay where the state is in California North Carolina or New York and then we just go ahead and hit go and check it out exact same results except we didn't have to use all of those or statements now typically whenever you are searching for a bunch of different things in the list then you add a condition just to order it at the end it just makes it organized a little bit better so we would probably want to order this by state and now check it out this is just gonna make it a little bit prettier so as you can see instead of saying okay search for all the people who live in California North Carolina or New York even though we're sort basically searching for three different or test we can just go ahead and make one test with a list of all the states and it makes it a whole lot easier now say that the police was like oh you know what in fact I figured out that the suspect the one we we're trying to catch he actually does not live in these three states he must have lived in the other 47 states so can you give me a list of all the suspects who live in the other 47 states and you may be thinking oh crap so before we learn about this nice little in thing we might have to make a huge or list that says or Arkansas or Alabama or and we would have to list 47 or statements however check this out if we want to say okay search for all the people who do not live in these three states all we have to do is do this guys this is probably the coolest thing I ever taught you not in California North Carolina or New York how awesome is that so isn't that a whole lot easier than making 47 or statements basically whenever we want to search for customers who do not live in any of these states then instead of in where it would be the opposite they would have to live in these states just go ahead and type not now you're gonna see this not not only when you're working with list but whenever you put not before any 
testing condition, it pretty much reverses the test. So we could have something, well, I'll show you guys test later on, but now let me just go ahead and run this query real quick and check it out. We now get a list of all the customers who do not live in these three states. In other words, we get a list of all the customers who live in the other 47 states. So first of all, that police officer isn't doing a very good job because, you know, there's a lot of people left who live in 47 states. So, you know, they need to kind of brush up on their work a little bit. But anyways, what we are worried about are these queries. So basically, like I said, whenever you want to use a bunch of or statements, you can just use in and then type a list in parentheses instead. And it does the exact same thing. It just makes it a whole lot easier. Or whenever you want to exclude a list or use something like not in, just go ahead and type the keyword not in and then make sure to put all your options in a list and guys another key thing make sure not to forget the parentheses because it's very important so there you go there you have it that is what in and not in does basically takes a bunch of or statement and cleans them up makes them a whole lot easier so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video